Really yes. did a number on Live us. Live TV. <laughs> yeah. Have you literally been met by producers looking like that? Ah! Yes. <laughs> yes. We just <laughs> ran from the car. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, wow. Which is well, perfect. We're so glad that, that you did make it. We were just talking about the film because we did all go to see it, obviously, in preparation for, for meeting both of you. Thank and you. And we loved it. It's a beautiful, beautiful yeah. film. Yeah. Um, one of the things yeah. we were talking about is it, it touches on a subject that obviously, it, uh, as, a, as a woman's program, we've talked about breast cancer many, many times. Mm -hmm. um, not, you're not particularly likable. In the film, <laughs> which, which can we say? Average cow. No, but we, we all agreed that was its yeah. strongest point. Yeah. Yeah. We love that. Oh, that's that. good. Yeah, mm. and she doesn't really change that much, which that's I really right. love as well. Yeah. I mean, yeah. She has a kind of understanding of wanting and needing to appreciate uh, everything that you have. I think yeah. that's what she learns. But she really is a spiky, self-centered narcissist. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I loved yeah. her. I'm worried about yeah. myself. <laughs> <laughs> We're also talking about friendship because I gathered that you got in touch with Drew yes, to did. ask her to be in I the show. So. I sent her a love letter. Please. So why, please why did you want Drew in it so much? Oh, because she's so warm. Like she just emanates warmth, and um, she is the ultimate girl's girl. Oh. And this is about female friendship. But did and you feel any guilt for sending her a begging letter when she only just had a baby? <laughs> no, I didn't. <laughs> and I'm so glad she didn't yeah. because it, it really did come at an inconvenient time. But then when I read it, I literally read it with my newborn in my arms and c cooking breakfast for my uh, other daughter and I was crying while I was turning <laughs> the pages and I kept trying to hide the tears from my daughter because I was happy, like Mom. I know I was like I'm fine I'm fine and I was like god this is so amazing no and then I'd be laughing and that would equally sort of scare her and I was like no I'm fine really and um, I just thought this is a film that's going to be made by women for women and my two daughters Daughters, I would love for them to see this one day yeah. and so the intention was so good and I'm so blessed and lucky that I got to be a part of this. Oh, I too. took my daughter to see it. How old 12. She? Oh, okay. Oh, oh wow. 12. 12. How did <laughs> yeah. you like it? Well, it, it, well, the conversation has been ongoing. Mm. I think we saw it on Monday. I've seen it. We've talked about it every day since then. And that's what I've loved. Because I tell you, halfway through, I was a bit nervous. You should be watching this because it is so... I mean, it's, it's quite raw. Serious. But mm. what I loved is we've talked We've talked about cancer, so we've done that. But also, she, we, talk, we talked a lot about friendship. Yeah. And, um, it's ultimately a love and story, she was right? Telling, yes, it's it's yeah. an absolute love story. And that's what she said. And she, when she was talking about some of the favourite moments in the film, one of her favourite moments is when you take off your towel and you you've got the mastectomy brilliant makeup job yeah. you've got the double mastectomy and she said no that boobs. moment she's only, <laughs> <laughs> she's only 12 and you she said that smile how that smile that they did that's my favorite them. moment yes. yeah oh isn't that funny and because it was yeah. real it was just such real love and absolute empathy and you were so open and gorgeous well that but that's what i said to her i said those actresses <clears throat> that you can't get unless there's a real relationship that's between right. them. That's true. You and can't I fake think you it. Feel you that cannot film. fake platonic love. You could I think we could act out romantic love. You just get that look in your eye and you can <laughs> as she says snog or like do something and you Sweat. know but you cannot <laughs> fake friendship. You yeah. cannot yeah. fake that that ease that care and that care mm. and that nurture and that 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 love it's it's just you know and you can i can think about tony i can think about what love is and i it just you know and also drama what did you take from the film from the script and the process because tony gather you shaved your hair and you know you went through the whole process yeah. what did you learn from the script yourself as an individual i think that you know uh, i don't know what it's like for men because i'm a woman but female friendships especially lifelong ones just go through such extraordinary Ups, downs, mm. tough love, selfishness, truth, mm. and nurturing, care, altruism, humor, most importantly, yeah. and mm. a, a connection that the relationship, although not a spouse or a child, is equally profound. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that that proved to me, because my girlfriends really were my first family yeah. before I had a family, and it just sort of made me feel whole with why I love women so much. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, they are the best. Yeah. In the world. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, Show, yeah, they're they're well. but, exactly but, but that's, that's what's so fabulous about the movies that you do go that you go from the most devastatingly a sad moments to that dark humor. I mean, when you say Franken's tits, yeah. I mean, yeah. we howled, and, and and that is the beauty of the way that women yeah. communicate with each other. And yeah. the two of you sort of found each other as well during the film. Yeah. You've yeah. become beautiful buddies and, and bosom buddies. Kids <laughs> have been become friends, which Aww. is just 
so cool. And yeah. we've it's traveled really sweet, as a family. Actually. It's it's very special. Good. Ladies, we have literally got 10 seconds left with you. Oh, my Lord. Oh. I'm so sorry. I'm glad <laughs> you actually made it. If you're ever in London again, pop by. Oh, we'll get some really more time. To. Tony Collette and Drew Barrymore. Thank you. See, yes. I know that you're very good in your research, very meticulous. Yes. So I need to know, did you check out all those sexual positions before you wrote the Absolutely. book? Absolutely. <laughs> uh, everyone. That's why I'm exhausted today. <laughs> <laughs>